as we all know, many times at midlife, people go through major changes where they realize so many of the projections of their lives have been exhausted in career and expectations of others, and certainly in the field of romance. So they go back to the drawing board and try to start all over, and that's perfectly understandable. Now, if there's been no examination, serious examination of what what was that about and what led me into that? What were the factors in my choice? Why would one expect to make a different choice? You know, there's the old saying in the 12 step groups, if you do the same thing over and over and you expect a different outcome, you know, that's the definition of insanity. So it's insane to think that in the second half of life, you can have a better relationship without having learned something important about yourself. Now, sadly, an awful lot of people are still out there looking for the magical other at, in later stages of life, unencumbered as much as they may have been by all the burdens of child rearing and, and, and so forth. And there's absolutely nothing wrong with wanting companionship in one's life and, and what relationship can offer us all. But uh, again, I think the premium is based here upon um, some kind of rigor of self-examination Otherwise, the same dynamics are going to be present. And I will tell you this, they are present and they're playing a role. Don't think we, we outgrow them. They're still present. We have to be, the difference is we can be mindful of their presence today. So in um, later life relationships, um, one can often have a far more satisfying relationship. And there's a reason for that is by that time, the person often has matured. Life has beaten us up enough that we've learned a few things. We've gone through some areas of serious disappointment and some wounding and collapse of other projections. We're a little less likely in the second half of life to burden our partner with the expectations of youth. You know, the younger you are, the more unformed you are. And, you know, Mere aging does not produce maturation, as we can well observe around us. But um, often in the second half of life, one recognizes I'm coming to this a more mature presence. I can I, I can take responsibility to more aspects of my own life. I don't have to see this as my partner's responsibility. So we've already lightened the traffic between us there, and and that second relationship can be far more, more mature, more satisfying, and, and more appropriate to the next stage of the journey. You know, if a truck ran over us at age 30, 35, and maybe we've produced children or whatever, you could say, well, we serve the purposes of nature and the purposes of society, but what are the purposes of the soul? And if you go back to Rilke's uh, definition of relationship, the sharing of one solitude with another, then you realize that part of what mature relationship is about is holding the soul of the other with respect and dignity and allowing it to remain other and caring for it in its otherness. Now, not many young people can manage that because that requires a certain degree of inner discipline, I think courage and capacity to restrain one's own narcissistic needs at that point in order to um, you know, care for the otherness of the other. So there's lots of, and, and it's not to say that the same marriage might not evolve in that same direction. Many do not, sadly. I don't automatically apply, uh, applaud when I see a long-term marriage because I don't know what's happened to the soul of the person inside of that relationship. Have they matured? Has it been you know, regressive for them? Whatever. But uh, the second half of life is an invitation, certainly, to go back to the drawing board in every area, and that includes in a committed relationship, to say, now, we, we have to sort of redraw our understanding and our contract with each other, because we didn't know what we were doing, and we know a little bit more today, not everything, but a little bit more of what we did know, and that that is going to help us forge a far better uh, evolving in developmental agenda than we have heretofore.